Morning! You can see right over Barnes as it is. Welcome to uh, my daily blog. Um, today we've got some drilling to do. We've got some of uh, these guys to fetch home from grass, all being well, unless the dates have changed. But that is what we were planning um, last week. We we're going to fetch some home from um, over Selby Way. We've got some. So that'll be a bigger, bigger fair getting that sorted. I mean, I was getting on the TM. Andy on his 130, just getting that set up. I think I'll jump on the nine meter. Andy's just informing, no M today. She's back at college. Um, so yeah, a lot of them things that I said about drilling, rolling, and da 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 da, -da probably ain't going to happen. But um, I think we've got Ash coming. He said he'd come and help us uh, shift these cattle, which is good of him. So we should see him in a bit. Right, I'm gonna have to get Andy some bales and then let him in the pens. So I'm just letting Andy in the big shed now. We've had enough rain today to make everything just a little bit slippy in the yard. But you'll get these cattle bedded up now. They're all pretty well bedded up, to be honest, already. There he goes, blowing it out. They're all pretty chilled. And this one's still chewing his cud, is that we like? Off he goes. Hello, baby. <laughs> Come on, then. No? All right, then. Andy's getting these nicely bedded up now. I right, see bedded up now. He's missed a few bits, though. Yeah. And here. No, nobody wants to come and see me today. Nobody bothered. You're not so bad, are you? You're pretty friendly. Hello. Hey, you up, mate. Hello. Yes. You trying to blow snot on me? Lovely. Now I'll let my dad in with a TM. He feeds out the meal. And he's coming to back onto the bale now. Will he be successful? Do, 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 do. Looks like he's gonna be. Well done, Andy. He's here. We've just been looking at this stick. It looks like M's obviously been bored, peeling. That's what it did look like been peeling it all off so yeah should have took it to college with shouldn't she and then she could have got it finished it on train or something. yeah yeah <laughs> anyway andy's on fetching the bales down worrying himself he don't really need to tilt them over that back There he goes. To nip home and pull some wisteria off our house because um, we're going to have a little bit of work done on it. And uh, it needed to go. It did used to look really nice and now it doesn't. So hopefully after everything's done, we can get it to grow up again and, and look nice. But yeah, I sent my wife the pictures and she's like, oh no, what's happened? Um, but anyway, back on with drilling now. Um, Andy's gone plowing. They've gone to pick these cattle up. Um, so I'm gonna get back on the drill. Andy will be jumping on the 210 beast in a bit. Oh, we've got some doves in here. Um, and getting the power harrow on. So, I'd... That's what he'll be using. Get that folded out, work it out. I am jumping on the drill now. Check how much seed I've got left. And then um, we'll get set off. Oh, I've just got it filled up with the 9 meter beast. Look at that. What a weapon. 
that's just cheered my day up. I just just come to unlock the gate down here, and the people in the car behind there uh, watch the videos. So we had a nice little chat. So sorry, I didn't get your names, but um, yeah, round up my day. I did that. Thank you very much. It was nice. Today I'm going to start in here, and of course, first time round, need to shut half of the drill off. So we'll get under here again, and we'll start pushing them down till we get halfway, or nearly halfway anyway. The rain has really started here in South Yorkshire. Could have done without this, really. Just for this, uh, for these few hours. But oh well, this is how it is. Well, I'm making my way across this field now. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not a very good field, really. It's sheltered on every side by trees. It's quite wet. Um, we've got a pond here in the, in the background. And down the, uh, the other end of the field, there's a bit of a low patch. I did clean this ditch out the other year with the um, digger, but it didn't really seem to make a great deal of difference. But it's dry now. So now I'm just drilling my way to the gateway. Um, this is about where my tram line's gonna be. Oh, it's a bit rough, and it? Um, so yeah, finish this one. Got another field to go, and then that's all the barley drilled for this year. Watching the train go by, that's some tankers in it. Jeez, today is great. So um, I'm not using GPS because the site that I use to put my base station on um, is down today, which is great. So I've not got RTK, and I could still go on just using not RTK, but it's not as accurate, so yeah, I've had to stop that. But it gets even better. Oh, I've got a disc there. No disc at that side. I've had to uh, take it off and put it in the tank. Accuracy is going to be low again. Um, and to add another layer to this, um, I'm running out of seed. And I don't think I'm going to have enough seed to finish this field. So it's whether I just risk taking some off the heap just to finish it off. Or I go, I've got to go on a journey to go and get some. <sighs> a beer tonight, I think. I'll have a beer, go to sleep, start another day. Because this is not my day. Not today. Andy's having fun though. 210, power hourin' up in front of me. But well, we're going to get some from the back of the pile because I'm hoping this is winter barley at the back. And it's coming up now. I put my boots off it and it just gone straight in. So. You got your socks on? Yeah. <laughs> socks on. Socks on Andy. Yeah. Go on, boy. Hey, Andy, what's the answer to yesterday's uh, quiz question? 39 mile an hour. Jeez. I think somebody was quite close to 38, wasn't they? Were they? Wow. Yeah. That was, if you were running into a wall at 70 mile an hour and you just stopped just at the wall, and then if you had another go and you did 80 mile an hour and the wall was in the same place, what speed would you hit the wall at? Now you'd think like 10 mile an hour. Yeah, like 10 mile an hour. Actually, 39, yeah. as Andy said. Yeah. Crazy, yeah, scary. Slow don't down. Sp don't speed. All right. Here he goes. There's not so much in mine, really. There is. Get on your socks, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's hey. a bit in your boots, Andy. <laughs> 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 oh, <really? sighs> My day even better. You see that pin there? Yeah? It's got a clip on that end. This side here, look. It's nearly out. That would have been, uh, that'd have been good, wouldn't it? Let's just get some mist it. Left hand, find a clip for it. She's sorting out some air, bless him. While Andy drops the plough off to get the mixer on. And while I get back down to the field, and get this, uh, get this barley drilled. So I'm just getting the two runs done now that I needed this plumbing extra seed for. Um, and then we're finished before the rain. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna get it rolled now. I think we're running out of time. 
but uh, we'll have to wait for it to dry, roll it, and then get the, get the pre-emergence on it. Got some pheasants about here. So that's it, barley done until springtime. Right, back on home now. Let's uh, let's get some cows fed and get this day finished. So I'm back in the yard now. Looks like one of them's doing a mix with the nine meter. Whether that's Andy or Ash, I'm not sure. In here on the farm is staged and we're all actors. Andy's just going to do a costume change in a minute. <laughs> Get ready. Just getting the mix dropped off and then we will see his costume change. Um, which is good. <laughs> Time for Andy's mix of mention today. What's this you've got on then, Andy? Come on, give us a twirl. You did it. Yeah. Got the t shirt. Got the t shirt. <laughs> right, let's have a look here then. Yeah, so thank you everybody. We got to 900 pounds. So that's wow. brilliant stuff. Got a few more shout outs to give. So we've got astronaut Will Hartnell, we've got Tim Woodhouse. Chris Rocky, Jack C, Neil Dempster, Phil Salt, or Philip Salt, James Anonymous, and Sally Emmy. So thank you very much, everybody, and uh, you've been brilliant. Well done for doing it, though, Andy. Thank you. <laughs> Have you recovered now? You're getting there. Getting there. <laughs> Next time, Andy's going to do um, a half marathon. No. <laughs> no we're, we're all, all everybody here, going to do Tough Mudder. <laughs> Ash looks shocked. Yeah. Is he right? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I can't wait to see me. <laughs> <laughs> if Big Mick does it, I'll do it. That's what I'll say. If Big Mick does it, I'll do it. <laughs> now we got Ash just putting the bales on out, sorry, for Andy for the morning. Andy's gonna let me in one of the pens. We've just got another one to feed. That is about it from us today. Um what I was going to mention though is if in the comments if you want to answer as a percent as to how you're feeling today because I am, I've come up now, I'm probably at like 60% but there's been times today when I've been down at like 30 and 40% like it's been bad. How have you felt today? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Answer as a percent Andy. I don't know. 90. 90? Yeah, 90. How have you felt today Ash? Uh, Has it been variable? Yeah, very variable. <laughs> it's been pointing when I've been at like 30 and 20. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you feeling now? Yeah, yeah. You're all right. Yeah. You got answers of percent. No, I'm all right. 60. 60. 60. And there we go. It needs a beer. We're going to have a beer, me and Ash, and we're going to have a chat about things. <laughs> and that's what you ought to do with your mates if they're um, not feeling great. So. Um, yeah, bear that in mind and let us know in the comments. I know we're having a laugh about it and stuff, but it does, you know, it does really help out to uh, to talk to people and find out how people are feeling. So, if you've liked today's video, press that like button and um, subscribe if you're not already. We're going. Andy's got his hand on the key, ready to push the door down because we're going to be going. So, I need some food and a beer. And um, yeah, see you all tomorrow. Bye. We're just finding out why Ash has had a bad day. Whoop, whoop. Somebody the call the police. Uh, so he's been pulled up uh, when you were taking the gates to Budworth. To Budworth. So he's, he's taking the gates to, to get the cows. They were strapped down, four straps on the little trailer, yeah, weren't they? Four straps on trailer. But they have like um, some metal bars that hold them together. And um, they were in the top, like wedged in the gates, yeah, weren't yeah. they? On an angle, which we've never ever, it's sort of a quarter of the pole sticks out the top, doesn't it really? Yeah, it's like, good. yeah, so anyway, he's been pulled over for that. Um, the number plate didn't match, did it? No. But we've not been, that we've not been picked up on that. <laughs> but the number plate didn't match, but we didn't get picked up on that. And then, um, so you said, what do you want me to do? Put them in the back of the pickup. 
And what were his response? He said, no, they have to be strapped down or netted. So if you've got anything in the back of a pickup, so let's check now, if any, you put anything in there, you've got to strap it down or you've got to net it. So Ash had three, what did you have, the sticks? Three, yeah, three sticks for getting cattle in. And he said, they should be in there. So we had just, I don't know if they're in there now, but. Oh, they might be. Right, so this here, that's not acceptable. That needs a net on it and a, um, and a strap. So you need to strap that strap down. Unless out. it's got a box on back. So what? It's a pick up with a box on back. You can put stuff inside. Do we need a roll of canopy? So this is useless really, isn't it? New one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right, so there we go. So that's why Ash is not feeling so great. But he's alright now. He's alright now. Because, uh, yeah. Anyway, business. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can say. Business. Actually, that is good because it's a strap. Can be in. A strap. a strap can be in. If you put that corner to that corner, We'd be all right. Yeah, because you're stopping that band down. <laughs> uh, thing we don't do is like mess about with safety and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, it's just a bit like... Over the top. It was just a bit over the top, weren't it? So we'll see what comes of it. Hopefully it's just, I think it was hundred pound fine, was it? Yeah. So hopefully it's just that. Um, yeah. We'll pay that for you, Ash. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Take it out of your wages. Take it out of your wages. <laughs> <laughs> I still get no wages. <laughs> he's, paid his, he's, he's, he's had to pay to come here today. 100 quid but to, to South Yorkshire Police. It's a privilege. No, no, it won't South Yorkshire. It'll not be South Yorkshire, will it? It'll be North Yorkshire, will uh, it? West, is it? Oh. West. I don't know. It's all going to the party fund anyway. Yeah, it? yeah, Christmas party is going to be good down at the police station this year. <laughs> <laughs> God. Time that we get the gates, we'll show you how we put them in, and then. Uh, so, <laughs> right. So, what did you have to do then with these metal bars that you got left? That's a good it told, question. He told me to put them, lay them on top of the gates, and strap them. Which metal on metal don't work, does it? Slide. Yeah, so they would have slid, Slide. slid off. So I put them in the back of the car. Oh right. So I took, yeah, I took them all out and put them in the back, put them in the back seat. Yeah. So then if you break tired, like you get you get all of the bars in onto it. Well, supposedly if I break tired they'd have come out of the trailer, gone through the back of the pickup, through in them. Alright. Serious breaking. Well, I wish I could show you the trailer and the things because it wouldn't do that, but yeah, it don't make sense. It don't make sense, but hey ho, that's how it is. Right, anyway, we're going. Bye. <laughs> Andy's just said actually, see so you can find the video, put it in the comments, where me and M were moving the cattle and you can see the trailer and how it was set up with the bars. But I don't know when it was, so <laughs> I can't give you an idea of when it is. But if somebody can look through, find that video and then put it in the comments down here, then we can all see what it looks like then. Good idea, Andy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good thinking. Yeah. It's a good job we do these every day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs>